Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel, and boy was I wrong. Well, partially wrong. If you caught last night's live show, I told you that I truly believed we were going to be back to sailing on November 1st, and well, I was right in some aspects. A lot of cruising is going to still plan on opening up on November 1st, but boy, when I woke up this morning, my email was inundated with messages from Carnival to put out information on some more cancellations that were just released just this morning. And I'm going to go over all of those cancellations with you when I come back right after this. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for staying through the intro. So yes, if you're planning a carnival cruise in the next few months, you really need to watch this video because it's going to go over all of the current cancellations as Carnival announced them as of this morning. First, let me say just a couple caveats. If your cruise was canceled, we're going to go over the rebooking options with you and you can call Carnival if you want to rebook, but I can promise you their phone lines are going to be absolutely jammed if you can get through it all. The much easier way is to give me a call or send me a text. I'll go over those options at the end of the video, and I can take care of all of those rebookings for you. It costs you not a dime. I get paid directly by the cruise line. So much easier, just one quick phone call to us, and we take care of all of the details for you. So as I go through this video, I always get questions afterwards saying, well, how is this ship sailing because it wasn't on the list? So the very last option is going, is going to be for all other bookings. So in a minute, I'm going to go over every ship that has further cancellations or cancellations in effect. If you don't hear your ship on that list, then you would qualify for the all other bookings information. So let's just skip right to it and let's talk about all the cancellations that Carnival has as of right now and how they will affect you. So this is a list of all of the cancellations that Carnival has, and I'm going to read through them for you. As the COVID-19 situation continues to evolve, we regret to inform our guests that Carnival Cruise Lines is having to cancel the following sailings. Now, again, listen for your sailing. If you hear it, write it down. If you don't hear your sailing, it will be involved in the all other ships at the very end. So these are the sailings that have been canceled as of today, September 16th, 2020. All San Francisco sailings through the year 2020. All Carnival Splendor sailings through and including January 7th, 2021. All Carnival Spirit sailings through and including May 16th, 2021. All Carnival Legend sailings through and including October 30th, 2020. All Mardi Gras sailings, November 14th, 2020, through and including January 30th, 2021. All Carnival Breeze sailings from Fort Lauderdale, sailings November 7th, 2020, through and including March 7th, 2021. Carnival Imagination and Carnival Inspiration sailings through and including April 19th, 2021. Carnival Fascination Sailings through and including January 9th, 2022. Carnival Sensation Sailings, March 3rd, 2022 and March 7th, 2022. Carnival Sunrise Sailings through and including October 19th, 2020. Miami Seven and Eight Day Sailings from October 9th, 2021 through and including April 30th, 2022, excluding the March 5th, 2022 sailing, which is the celebration sailing. And Miami five-day sailing, January 3rd, 2022. Here are your Carnival Radiance cancellations. Sailings through and including November 1st, 2020. Nine, 12, 14-day sailings from March 2nd, 2021 through and including April 29th, 2022. Five-day sailing, December 23rd, 2021, and December 28th, 2021. Carnival Paradise sailings through and including February 22nd, 2021. 
Carnival Magic sailings from Fort Lauderdale and Miami through and including March 6, 2021. Transatlantic and Barcelona sailings April 10, 2021 through and including May 3, 2021. Carnival Valor sailings through and including April 24, 2021. And all other sailings. Again, if you didn't hear your particular sailing in that list, this would apply to you. All other sailings through and including October 1st, 2020. So those are your cancellations for Carnival. If you were within one of those sailings, I'm really sorry. Um, the COVID thing is just really messing things up in the cruise industry. And believe me, nobody wants to sail their ships full of guests than Carnival Cruise Lines. So if your sailing was canceled, here are your options. So the options that have been ex are extended from what they've offered in the past. So if you took my advice um, earlier a, a month ago and booked a sailing sooner, knowing that it would probably cancel, you're going to have the same cancellation period. And here's how it works. If your original sailing was six days or longer, you will have the option to first a full refund of everything that you paid towards your cruise to have refunded to you. Now, understand that refunds can and are taking up to 120 days to get back. The second option is you can use that cruise that you had that is canceled and use the funds that you actually paid towards that cruise towards another Carnival Cruise Lines booking. In exchange for doing that, Carnival move over 100% of everything that you've paid. Remember, it's what you've paid, not the cost of the cruise. So if you hadn't paid off the cruise, you're only going to get what you actually paid moved towards another cruise. For doing that, Carnival is going to give you a $600 onboard credit that you can spend anywhere on the ship that you like, except for the casino. Now, it is a use it or lose it, so you have to spend the $600 on board. They're not going to give you $600 in cash if you don't spend it when you get off the ship. If you had a five-day five day sailing or less, then you're going to have the same options as the six-day sailings or more, with the exception is you're going to get a $300 credit towards your next cruise. So again, you can still get a 100% refund, or you can get a, a, your money moved over to a new cruise and a $300 onboard credit. Now, if you don't want to do anything now whatsoever and you've just made up your mind that you do want the credit, but you don't want to book another cruise right now, you can go to Carnival's website. There is a link on there for you to fill out the form. There is no need to call Carnival Cruise Lines. Now, regardless of which option that you select, if you fill out the form on Carnival.com, here's what's going to happen. If you elect for a refund, again, you'll get a full refund of everything that you paid. Again, it is taking up to 60 to 90 days to get your refund. Please understand that in advance. There's so many refunds going out right now, and that is your in your contract of carriage that you accept when you book your ticket that you know it can take up to 120 days to get your refund. Now, if you booked it on, on Carnival.com that you would like to use the future cruise credit, what Carnival is going to do is they're going to move over your basic cruise fare, excluding your port charges and taxes, they're going to take that amount and attach it to your VIFP number so that next time you book a cruise, that base amount you paid will be ready to move to your next cruise. Carnival will refund you back automatically your port charges and taxes. And anything that you purchased on Carnival.com, such as faster to the fun, drink packages, internet packages, stateroom gifts, shore excursions, anything you booked on Carnival.com will automatically get refunded to you. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video that you can contact me if you would like to rebook your cruise, and we would take care of all of that for you. Now, if you do that, if you're planning on doing that, don't fill out the form on Carnival.com yet. When we do the cruise for you, if you haven't filled out that form, I can move everything over to your new cruise, including your port charges and taxes. I can't move over the things you bought on Carnival.com, but I can move over the entire amount that you paid so you don't have to wait to get that refund for your port charges and taxes to pay off your next cruise. So you, there's a couple different ways to get a hold of me. The first way to get a hold of me is you can send me a text at 305-574-9213. Not only can we text back and forth, but it also puts you on our text messaging list. That list will give you updates every time we put out a new video, as well as cancellations and cruise news, literally as they become available. So take out your phone. Even if you don't want to move a cruise over to me, get on that text messaging list. It's 100% free of charge. 
Only uh, your carrier's data and text rates apply if you get charged them. The next thing you can do is you can call me directly at 330-968-4300. Myself or my staff will pick up the phone and we are more than happy to help you. If you do get our answer machine, please make sure you leave a message because we do return our calls promptly. A lot of people don't leave messages and say, well, I called and I didn't get a hold of you. And I say, why didn't you leave a message? So leave a message. If we're not available, we will get back to you. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I am happy to answer them. Other than that, if you're new to our channel, please make sure you click the subscribe button, click that little bell notification. And if you're inclined, click the little join button that is $4.99 a month. It supports our channels. And like the live video we did last night, our, our paid members do receive lots of benefits and special videos from the channel. So until next time, thanks for watching our videos and I'll see you soon up on the Lido deck.